Okay guys, we have completed now round eight. So we are going to join up here. And round nine, you're going to do a chain one. And then you're just going to do a, uh, a simple half double crochet round again. Um, just still making the base for the uh, shorts here. So you're just going to do a half double all the way around. And our lovely little shorts are coming into play. And I just love, like I said earlier, watching a project build. There's nothing more fun than watching something come to life that you're putting together with your hands. And as I said, if I go too fast with just doing these rounds, which is just a simple half double crochet all the way around you can pause the video and catch up to me and I'm sure some of you wonder if I do my own pattern right and yes I do write some patterns uh, I don't write sweater patterns and uh, huge patterns there's just not uh, enough hours in the day to do that and run my hook business and my YouTube business, uh, my crochet group, my home. Uh, <laughs> it's just not enough hours in the day and to anybody, anybody including Melinda that knows, uh, that knows how it is. Sorry about that guys, That's my TV's going off anybody that knows um, anything about pattern writing knows it's very very time consuming and just eats up your day um, hours so um, yeah I write hat patterns and flower patterns and granny square patterns and things like that so alright so we are still almost around but as I said she did a good job on this I've already made a pair and they're just cute as they can be just basic basic stitches going through this is all it is So we are at the end, so we're going to slip stitch and make sure that you're, um, uh, just make sure you're slip stitching to that uh, half double crochet. Now round 10, you're going to, uh, we're actually going to, this is where you're going to join in the red, so take that slip stitch out a second. So you are going to grab your red, and let me unwind mine a bit here. All right, so you want to tie on your red, put your hook back into that that stitch there. Grab your scissors and clip that. Put your red on. Pull it through and through. And of course we want to tie that. Give it no reason to come unattached. And my items never do. I make sure of that. All right, so now, cut a little bit more of that off. So now what we're going to do is to chain up four. One, two, three, and four. Okay, and what you're going to do is triple crochet in the next two. So yarn over twice, and you're going to do a triple crochet in this one, working over the tails as we go and you want to triple crochet into the next one as well. Alright, now you're going to do a double crochet in the next four. So 
So one. And this is going to be forming the mouth. So two, three, and four. Now if you have any of your tails left here, go ahead and clip those and get those out of the way. I've gotten to the point I don't like to see them as I'm working. Uh, okay, so then uh, you want to half double crochet in the next four. So half double, so you're just kind of working down your chain a command here. So there's one, two, three, and four. All right, and now you're going to single crochet in the next 54. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50, and then 51, 52, 53, and 54. And you're going to half double crochet in the next four. So one, two, let me grab my yarn here, done ran all out. three and four then you're going to do four double crochet so here's one two three and four okay and then what you're going to do is triple crochet and to the last Uh, stitch and then you're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain okay so then that is the completion of round 10 and I will be back with you for round 11 okay, guys round 11 you want to chain up four and that's going to act as your first triple crochet now you're going to triple crochet in the next two. Okay? So one and two. Then you're going to do a double crochet in the next four. So one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to do four half doubles. So one, two, three, and four. Basically, you're mocking the same thing that you did in the previous round. So now go around and do 54 single crochet, and I'll meet you back up. Okay, guys, I've got my 54 single crochet. So now you're going to half double in the next four. One, two, three, and four. And then you're going to double crochet in the next four. So one, two, three, 
and four. And then you're going to triple crochet in the last. Okay. Then you're going to slip to the top of that chain four. Actually, don't finish that off. We are now going to change over to the white again for round 12. So go ahead and snip that red and join that white back in. So we know how to change our colors, so just go ahead and do that. Oops, don't pull that all the way through there, silly. Alright, and tie that on real good. We don't want no oopsies. Alright, so now we're good to go again. So now, now round 12 says to chain up one and single crochet in the next seven. So single crochet in the one you're in. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Trim my tail off. And then half double crochet in the next four. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, and then you're going to do another set of 54 stitches, okay? So do your 54 and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back. So now what you want to do now is after the 54 stitches, you want to half double crochet in the next four. So one, two, three, and four. And then you're gonna just single crochet in the remaining. Okay, and then you are just going to uh, join up here in the beginning. And now for round 13, it says you need to repeat round 12. So you're just going to uh, chain up one and you're going to single crochet in the first seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Half double in the next four. Whoops. One, two, three, and four. And then you're going to do your 54 stitches around, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, we are done here with the 54 single crochet again. You want to half double crochet in the next four. So one, two, three, and four. Now you're just going to single crochet to the end. Okay, and then you're just going to now uh, slip stitch to join. Alright, and now this is what you should have at this point. Let's back up a bit so you can see. And you see that the mouth is now formed. So now you're going to start forming your legs. So what you want to do for round 14 is chain one. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I see. Not yet. Let's uh, half double crochet in each stitch around first. Okay? So let's just do a half double crochet round all the way around with your white. I got ahead of myself. <laughs> I want to form the legs. Uh, so just half double crochet all the way around. Um, and then what we're going to do before we finish off this round is we are going to attach the gray and we will then start forming the legs. Okay, 
So just half double crochet around and I'll meet you back up for the legs. All right, so we have completed that row of 14. So round 15, we have now joined up our gray. So what we're going to do now is start forming the legs. So once you have your gray attached, what you want to do is chain up one and you're gonna half double crochet in 38 stitches, okay? So half double crochet in that first one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna get my tails off of there now. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, and 38. So now what they want you to do here is you're going to slip stitch to the other side. Okay, you're going to join these two here with that very first stitch and you're going to pull those two together so now you have your uh, separation between your legs and you're going to leave this side for now okay so um, that's round 15 now for round 16 you're going to chain one and you're going to half double crochet in each stitch okay including that one that you're in right there so you're going to just half double crochet all the way around and you want to maintain that 38 stitch count Okay, so you're just going to uh, half double crochet all the way around. And now you're really starting to see them take shape. And just keep in mind what you're doing here on this leg, you will be doing on the other side. Okay, so we're just going to half double crochet. Once we get all the way around, we are going to switch over to the white. So don't finish off. We're going to change over to the white. Okay, so you want to join up here at the top, finish off your gray there, you want to add that white back on, or whatever color you're using, whoops, and tie that on.
you're going to chain one. Okay, so that's this is round 17. So what you're going to do is do a, another half double crochet round here. So make sure you half double crochet in that stitch you're in. Working over these tails and make sure you maintain a 38 stitch count. Okay. And number uh, uh, round 18, this next round. So you're just going to go all the way around here with round 17. Okay. And then uh, you're just going to join up. You're going to chain one and then you're going to half double crochet around again. Okay. So finish this row and then do the next row in half double crochet as well, which is round 18. And I will meet you up for round 19. Okay, guys, we are now on round 19. So as you may have figured, you want to now join back in your gray. So separate your white and add that gray back in. All right, so what you want to do now is chain up one. And then you are going to simply do two rounds of half double crochet which is this round and the next round which is uh, row 20. So you want to do two more rounds of half double crochet. Like I said there's nothing hard at all about this pattern. She has made it simple as can be. Very cute. So, um, we'll just go around for two more rounds here in the gray. Okay, so go two more rounds, finish up uh, round uh, 19 and 20, and I'll join you back. Alright guys, so once you have done those two rows, you just finish it off, weave your ends, and that little leg is done. So now what you want to do is start on round 21, and she does specify you want to leave a long starting tail, because we're going to start here in the center crotch area, um, and this is going to go towards sewing up the little hole that's going to be left here. So make sure you leave yourself uh, a good strand to do that with. Okay, so you want to slip stitch now um, right here into the beginning stitch. Just start there with the first uh, <laughs> I'm blank here. Half double crochet. There we go. Chain one and you're going to half double crochet in each stitch around. And don't work over well, let's get the right <laughs> let's get the right end. Do not work over that tail. You need that tail. Okay, so just half double crochet now in the remaining stitches. Okay. So um, basically for round 21 and round 22, you are going to kind of mock the other leg. You're going to do two rows of gray, then you're going to join your white and do two rows of white, and then you're going to rejoin your gray and do two rows of gray. Okay, so I'm going to leave you at it. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's just half double crochet. You're just going to do two rows of each color, join, chain one, and just go all the way around. And once you're done with that, finish off, and I'll meet you back. We will sew up the center, and we will add the buttons. And 
we will finish this beautiful little project. So I will meet you back up, finish up these last few rows, and I will be back as soon as okay, I guys, finish. as you see, I have both of my legs completed. I went ahead and put one eye on, and I did just go ahead and weave the crotch area. All you do is just take your yarn needle and just go back and forth in here about three times and just finish that off. There's really nothing to it. Okay, so then just take your buttons now and make sure that the mouth part is on this side. You don't want to put them on the wrong side. And then just attach your buttons, one on each side of the crotch area. Uh, try to get them as even as possible and leave yourself a small little tail on the back. That way you can tie that end off. And all I did is I made about, my buttons have four holes. So I'm going to go in each buttonhole twice, meaning I'm going to make one, uh, not one, but uh, two passes, two complete passes. And that's really all you need. You don't need to go ballistic on these buttons. These buttons are not going to go anywhere. So uh, there we go. I've made two complete passes with my buttons. So I'm just going to go in now a couple of the loops in the back. I'm going to drop the needle and then I'm just going to tie these two strands off in the back. I'm going to double tie them and then I'm just going to clip them down. Okay, and then there you have it. That's your monkey baby shorts and they are just very adorable. And again, I would like to thank Miss Melinda for allowing me to do her pattern on video and I will link you guys to her. Um, to her uh, sites and to her uh, links as well and uh, she has lots more patterns to share with you so um, this is her uh, 12 to 18 month yep uh, monkey uh, shorts for a 12 to 18 month old baby or toddler um, and you can change your sizes by changing your hook and your yarn and use you can use whatever yarn you'd like um, but these are just fun to do and they make you happy while you're doing them. They just make you smile um, And very simple to do there was really nothing to it And I'm sure that if you wanted them longer to make them pants you could just add extra rows and make them pants So until next time guys happy hooking